Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Crusader Kings 3. So in the uh, a previous episode we went to war over uh, Melinda, uh, or Melina, sorry, and uh, we won that war. That was uh, a little bit more expensive on the prestige side, but we're doing fine with prestige as we can see now. Um, especially since we got a, a Diplo perk, a Diplomacy perk, which is Inspiring Rule, which gives us 5% more prestige depending on how many uh, vassals we have on our council. We only actually have one powerful vassal on our council, so we're only getting 5%, but it's extra 5% per powerful vassal, so we have more powerful vassals in the future on our dynasty. Uh, that means that in the future we could actually get uh, more, and as you can see there, uh, this is actually the exact thing I was concerned about, was uh, France uh, tapping more into the uh, Peninsula here. This is Amira Duena. I mean, sure, I'll get the 50 gold. They're starting to conquer this coast, which is controlled by Musa, and he just lost a piece of land here. Uh, Alcanas. The problem with Alcanas is that we want Alcanas for ourselves. And we can't declare war on France because, first of all, we're in debt, which is why we couldn't actually uh, tap in that war ourselves for Alcanas, which is uh, maybe something we should have focused on before uh, Melina, to be honest, going for that holy war, uh, but uh, you know what, that's in the past, so what I'm actually now hoping for is uh, uh, probably start focusing on fabricating a claim, to be honest, on Barcelona. Um, that's going to be giving us a good start on uh, trying to argue that we should uh, capture the Duchy of Barcelona and hopefully that'll be a really good cutoff point for France. Now the other thing that we could be benefiting from from France is if we actually look at this from like a holistic perspective um, uh, France here, this this is controlled by a duchy and I'm hoping that uh, Duchess Adeltrudis, the foolish of uh, Toulouse, she's gonna get so powerful that she thinks that she can pull an independence. She has 5.7k men. We're allied with France, not with her. But if she tries to go for an independence, which I'm actually rooting for her independence, uh, that is actually just gonna be to our advantage. So if we're gonna have a war with France over her going for independence, I hope she gets her independence because that's gonna make her more vulnerable. It's going to make France a weaker ally, but we have uh, England in the bag, so we have England to back us up, so I'm not 100% concerned. And we also have Tuscany and a, and a few smaller ones as well, which France will be within spitting distance of probably Tuscany and, and uh, some of those duchy, duchy tier uh, um, realms in terms of men. And we actually have a child here, child of my dynasty, uh, Beatrice, the daughter of uh, Godfroy of Lower Lorraine, who's now dead, probably for a while now. Uh, basically, our son's having another son, which is kind of... <sighs> he has four sons. Ordoño, Alfonso, Sebastian, and now Sancho. Uh, uh, this is going to get pretty dicey, this partition. I'd like to get a high partition. But uh, heraldry is really taking its time. 35 years, so it's making progress. But we're gout ridden and we're 57, so that's not good. We're probably going to die uh, from being gout ridden. <clears throat> so, yeah, death by gout ridden. I haven't had that in a while. Probably CK2, maybe, last time I actually had that kind of death. <clears throat> I don't think I've... Um actually had I know I've had other people die but I don't think my character that I've played okay Aqua Teen uh, there's definitely some movement going on here Aqua Teen has uh, usurped these kingdoms here now uh, uh, Toulouse here is basically can they fight for their end I, I hope they go independent they're at 6k men so they're getting uh, more powerful um, let's see if uh, they can pull off an independence yeah, so that's going to be really interesting if they can uh, pull off uh, their own independence. Going to be another uh, shade of purple, I guess. Darker than uh, Aquatine. France is going to become tiny. Um, 
So that's kind of interesting. We'll, we'll see how that plays out. I'm really, I'm really hoping that uh, uh, Alda Truis is going to go for uh, independence. Otherwise, running the clock, um, we're going on for a claim for Barcelona. Uh, I hereby invite you to feast my court in El Barakan. I don't really have a need to go there. Uh, I obesity plus get ridden. That's like. I, I'm already got ridden. I don't need anything worse in here. Um, what exactly is going on here? I can't accept this marriage because he's imprisoned. Um, but he will accept. Can I just like automatically let you? I I, I don't know why this is not gonna auto marry. I I literally can't process that marriage. Oh, there we go. Okay, the game processed it uh, themselves because the king is in jail. Uh, currently being held by Count Robert of uh, Amin, 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 Amias, Amiens. Uh, that's a uh, that's an English issue. Um, I'm gonna let them sort that out. Hopefully, the alliance will stick. Right? Here's Queen Margarita of France. And her son Sancho, who's not. Uh, what's this? Diplomacy perk. Um, hmm. Heart of the family. Foot's firm hand. I don't think we have that much dread, do we? We actually have 45 dread, probably because. Uh, um, we probably got someone we uh, um, beheaded, uh, Pope Victor the Third. Um. Diplo perk. Uh, embassies. Uh, adaptive tra traditions. Uh, I'll go with Heart of Family? Personal scheme success chance against family members. Uh, what's this? Prestige per night. Let's go with this. That, that tree is actually, generally speaking, just for... Uh, Improving prestige. What is this? So this is to the impressive King Sancho. I honor, uh, I call on you to honor our alliance and join me in a peasant uprising. Uprising. This is uh, um, Schooly, Schoolie of uh, Shrewsbury. Um, where is this peasant revolt? Mm, pushing Scotland territory. I see. Oh, it's uh, for the whole duchy. Uh, is this really for the whole duchy? I don't really see what duchy we're targeting here. It looks like uh, Deira here we're targeting, north of Mercia. Uh, sure, I guess. We can assist you. The question is, do I really want to assist you? England, you're not doing very well. It's hard to watch England lose this badly. It makes me question how useful our alliance is to you. Uh, I have been hosting your Chancellor, Count Elvira, for several weeks, and he has helped me truly see the splendor of the realm under your rule. I am nothing less honored to serve as your vassal. Well, I'm very glad to hear that you've just doubled your opinion of me. What is this? Improvident. Monthly income minus 15%, but you get diplomacy and stress loss. Nuno habitually gives far m more money away to charities than he can reasonably afford. Okay, uh, curse undone. So Dima, who tried to murder us at one point, I believe. I don't know if that's, like, in a lost episode or what, but she tried to murder us at one point. She is the husband of this albino guy who has also died at this point. Um... He was the former, um... He probably still has children, though. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, this is reverted so far back that like the family tree is like significantly different. He only has two. One of them is an albino. Okay. Uh, I guess she did not try to murder us in this playthrough because we've reverted so far back. I'm gonna say that never actually happened. But uh, yeah, Dima, she really like. Uh. You know, it's good that she's dead. I mean, I think we're re running the clock way more in this, like, new attempt, to be honest. 
uh, than before because before we would have we would have a bunch of episodes in a very short period of time, but we would just have like wars like back to back to back to back. At one point we had like four wars at once. Um, so it was pretty serious. 8K men versus their 6K men. I don't know how we got 8K men, but like this is a pretty serious uh, faction revolt. This is like a this definitely is a whole duchy paying homage. Uh, my vassal Count Sinchu has arrived outside my castle with a grand uh, procession of well-dressed diplomats, knights, and exotic enter entertainers. The fellowship resembles a parade, led by Sanchu himself. In a booming voice, Sanchu announces that he is here to pay homage and that he has come bearing gifts of gold. <clears throat> okay, he's apparently lending a... Uh, Okay. Another rival has died. Your rival Ayub has died. He's actually a Catholic in delusion, but uh, yeah. Curse undone. And this uh, war with England is again just uh, really just costing us money. It's just burning cash for nothing, basically. Call to war. Uh, this is just a bunch of nonsense. I think I'm gonna send my men home after this, because I don't know what this war is really about. One battle and we'll send the men back home, because this is, I think, this is just England just trying to do nonsense at this point. They really don't have that much men. Okay. 19%. That's a decent boost. Uh, you should be able to hopefully tank whatever's going to come next now. France, right? What's going on up here? Uh, Mayor Marina can be lawfully imprisoned for being, in a, uh, for being a uh, fornicator. This is her child that she had. Yep, bastard. Uh, Gregarious, impatient, and calm. Interesting. Let's let's uh, imprison. Alfonso can marry. Uh, Ostodius de Ovedio. Is that the best alliance we can do? Or Barony of Mayenne, which is where is this France? Yes, it is France. Um. Where in France? Not actually in France. Okay. This is like... This is a barony, so this is like... Nothing. It's 245 men. 595 men, but again, this is an internal, so this is not actually an alliance that we're going to be able to call on. In that case. In that case, uh, traits inheritable. What kind of traits can we actually get here? Uh, not crazy fertility and not 45 year olds. Uh, let's talk max age uh, 35. Ooh, uh, Consenza di Parma, Italian with uh, intelligent. intelligent. Um, we actually have a genius on our hands. A little old. But, uh, not a bad choice. This is, uh... Uh... Wow, this is a great genius. Who... Lara uh, rings a bell. Our wife is, uh... So this is our wife's brother's daughter's daughter. Because she married matrilineally. None of these guys are geniuses. Um, so this is just like pure. L oh, whoa, whoa! This is a very round uh, tree. This is a very round tree. She is married to him. He was married to her. And she was married to him. Very round tree. Ah. Uh... 
we just messed up the menu here. Ooh, uh, let's go for, let's get the Yanguas, uh, dynasty back in here. Um... She's going to force them to be back in her court. She's 25, we're 16. A little bit of an age advantage for her, but she's a genius. Um, and I don't think there's anyone really else for us to marry. Like, to marry her, if we were to just say range marriage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, okay, let's, let's back it up here, find a spouse, her, send that proposal. Okay, so there, we're going to get that uh, Yingguas uh, dynasty back in our realm, one way of an hour, and uh, Mayor Maria is uh, imprisoned. Uh, so this is the company captain here. I gladly accept your marriage proposal. My grandson unfalls my your grandson Alfonso and my sister Alvira will be joint in holy matrimony. Uh, Alfonso is Alfonso the first child? No. Or Donio is the first child of England. I see. I see. Okay, so genius. Uh, that's going to be kind of awkward if you have really good children. We might have to uh, cut off. Uh, your intrigue's not great. Um, your intrigue's also not great. Your stats are not great in general. You have way better uh, diplomacy. That's for sure. Marshall is better as well. You're like strongest is uh, stewardship and learning followed by Marshall. And they're not that strong either. You're a much stronger uh, child. Yeah, let's take a look at you. You're probably in the same boat. Where alliance power, if we ignore uh, traits, let's just say, you know, everything under 35. Yeah. Nothing, no actual alliances, it's just blank. So it's all about traits, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, let's not go for a 34 year old. I mean, if we wait for our, um, what is it? If we wait to become Rodrigo, we will, for some reason, that menu will, will just start bringing us much better options. I've noticed that. I don't know why the game works like that, but it does. Uh, what's the situation here in England? Uh, maybe another fight? Back up England a little bit more? England's really having a hard time with this peasant revolt. This isn't a peasant revolt. This is them trying to get uh, some sort of dynasty. Um, not dynasty, some sort of title. Uh, let's see, Amir Fadil has won against uh, Muhammad of al Kakr de Sal in the war against the tyranny of Amir Fadil. We're still, we're almost done this Barcelona war. So, uh, I'm not gonna spend more time in England. I'm gonna get my butt out of here and focus on Iberia. Um... Yeah. To the impressive Sancho, I have prowled through the document. Okay, so this is Barcelona being ready. Um, we're getting in debt again, which is not great. We really need to get this uh, uh, under control. Yeah, we can't process that patrol. Okay, okay, they're here. Disband everything. Disband. Merge, disband, just get out of here. Start recharging. Start giving me money again. Uh, control, what's the control situation look like? Not terrible, but uh, now that we are in debt, it's probably not going to help. And uh, nothing's happening anymore. Yeah. Barcelona, going to war with Barcelona. Start stealing Barcelona to really start cutting off France here. And hope for, I mean, France is already really splintered. They're like three chunks now. 
So Exclave Independence should start screwing them over sometime soon. They can't stay like this, especially if we don't get Barcelona. If they don't get Barcelona synced up. And uh, England, they are they're really coasting off of whatever we gave them. Our wife is angry at us. Um, it's no longer valid. Is our England alliance expired? Yes, like completely. So all of our marriages are useless. Your marriage is useless now, and your marriage is actually useless. So, I mean, if we actually wanted to start a murder scheme against Ordoño to focus on Alfonso, because Alfonso actually got a decent education, unlike Ordoño, she's pregnant, so we would actually have to focus on killing her first. Courtier of Prince Wolf here. Wolf here. Elfnothson of England. Yeah, Elfnothson because Elfnoth was your father. Wolf here, Elfnothson. Um, <sighs> expensive. 20%, um, 35% discreetness. Not great. Uh, new target, uh, King Owen. Wayne. Uh, I'm not. I'm not in that war anymore because that's done. Uh, compassionate Discord, moved by by tribulations, Count Gill has offered me his counsel and aid on many occasions, helping to alleviate the burden of my duties. However, Gill's attenuations have incurred the ire of Count Munio. Gill cannot be trusted. Um, two powerful vassals. Um. 65% chance of reconciling them. Yep, that's good. Uh, sm I have smallpox. I am gout ridden. Ah. Uh, that's not good. Uh, I'm probably gonna die. Yeah, I'm not surprised there. Yeah, died of smallpox, probably. King Sancho II of Leon rests in the arms of the Lord at 60 years of age. He died from smallpox. A zealous man, he fought for the glory of God against the heathens in one of the greatest holy wars of recent history. King Rodrigo ascends to the throne, having led holy warriors against the infidels. Rodrigo's name is surely beloved by the eyes of God. Um, interesting twist. Uh, get ridden, smallpox. Major murder was known for the execution of Victor the Third, Pope Victor the Third. Uh. I'm not the dynasty head. I'm actually not able to kill Ordonio. At this point. Um, so, looks like the next king of France will be... Will be... Um, Philippe. Yes, you're a fornicator though. And he had a bastard child. Did you legitimize this bastard? With this Italian Leone Orsini? Leone di... Uh, I don't know. I, I know the last name's Orsini. I'm fairly confident I should say that's Orsini. But uh, yeah, that's definitely not your wife. Which is uh, my Margarita. Or not, not my Margarita, but uh, my father's Margarita now. Who did you kill? Uh, you killed uh, this guy here. No, no one, no one special. Uh, yeah, okay. That's kind of interesting. That was really surprising that we just uh, died. Oh, we lost our. Um, hmm. What do I want? Prowess. Okay, so for our lineup, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put 
if I can put Ordonio. We're gonna have to redo cancel. Yeah, we're probably gonna have uh, pretty unstable times at the moment. Um, Infante Sancho controls two of these, which is unfortunate since we don't have the full duchy under control. Uh, it's a mess. What a mess. We're still, um, we're still head of Castellian culture. Two more titles are going to be lost. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, Infante Sebastian, Alliance Power. Look at this. Um, much better options already. Bohemia. I told you this was going to happen. Alliance power. Um, trans... Transurania? Transurania? I don't know. I can't even view this because I'm in the wrong screen. This duchy. How many men? 1.3k. This uh, flower uh, thing here. Uh, Lienes. Lienes? Um... 1k men. Robust is more decent than quick. Right? Yes. Um... <clears throat> uh, what am I looking at here? We only have 4k men, apparently. Yeah. Not pious at all. Ooh, that's right, because you are vengeful and you're sadistic, which is both sinful. While you're at least compassionate, which is uh, virtuous. And you are going to be honest, which is also virtuous. And you're just too young. Uh, not liking this turn of events. We're not uh, fabricating a claim. Oh, our claim on Barcelona is probably done, so that gold was just thrown in the trash. Basically. Um, uh, okay. Uh, not horrible. We need to uh, re set up our council here. You're really strong with learning. Too bad we can't appoint you as the Archbishop. Uh, that's Munio. Uh, Duke Munio. I mean, most of these people are here. I mean, everybody hates me, except for, I think I saw one person that has a positive opinion of me. Nobody here is good with, uh, diplomacy. Munio Simones of Soria, you're the best person here with stewardship. Let's talk Spymaster. Yeah, Rodriguez, uh, you can be Spymaster. Um, let's talk Chivalry slash Marshal. Sancho the second. Uh, I'll probably have to put you on here. And uh, you. Yeah. Not a strong start. Uh, my wife here. Uh, let's see here. Beatrice. Strong with intrigue. Did that just actually make you more angry? Yeah, it did. Crusader Rodrigo, not frightful Leage, short reign. Yeah, short reign is not great. Arrogant versus humble. Sadistic. Uh, what's the, uh, what's, like, what's the thing that's being added on here? I don't know. Not happy with partition, because you are getting the, um, the traits. You're ambitious. Ambitious is not great. Um, yeah, I, I mean, what do we do now? On the clock? Okay. Gonna get our alliances set up here. Um, Ransom Mayor Maria. 
Uh, sure. Not that big of a deal. Uh, King Vratislav II of Bohemia. We got an alliance with him. Great. Uh, trying to install you on the Kingdom of Leon. Shut up. Shut up, bro. Um, you. Start a sway scheme on you? Like, what the frick is wrong with you, bro? Child of my dynasty. Uh, Cuthbert, the daughter of King Elfnoth of England, has given birth to a daughter. This is my son. Has a daughter. The son that I'm not looking forward to. And she wants to be Beatrice. Is that even a Castilian name? Aragonte, Brigida, Estefania, Marina, Andrequina, Guina, Andregetta, Vis Clara Vera, Maria, Teresa. Preferably a name that I can pronounce. Let's Margarita, Lodina, Ine. Uh, Mayor, no. Uh, I'm just spamming this button now. Sancha. I don't think uh, Beatrice is a Castellian name, as in, in the name pool. Blanca. Blanca wouldn't have been that bad. Uh, we can go down Onika. Sure. I am now the dynasty head. That's good to know. Um, let's see here. Sure, 30 gold. Uh, the episode's running long, so I'm actually going to cut this episode here. Um, now that I look at it. So if you guys uh, like this episode, uh, please do uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode.